Hey everyone, welcome back to the Poplar Report. Uh, we are got, it's crazy. It's Black Friday week. I know it's, I know it's Thanksgiving week, but they've started the Black Friday sales early. There's opportunities for saving a whole bunch of money. Um, as always, you know, don't, don't just go crazy and buy stuff you don't need, but if there's stuff that you need already or things that will help you get more prepared or things you're gonna buy anyway, well, getting them on sale is probably a good move, right? Um, I got a whole bunch of things uh, from Amazon as well as other things. Um, these are uh, affiliate links, which means that uh, they don't cost you anything extra. If anything, they might actually cost you a little bit less than if you go there directly uh, for some of those things. So uh, uh, without further ado, let's jump right into this. I'm gonna show you what things I've found. I've purchased a lot of these things myself, either over the years or maybe just recently as I've seen the deals come up. Hopefully it helps you guys out to save some money and to get through the next month or two. All right, friends, let's go into the pictures. All right, let's start off with granulated garlic. Uh, we got a great deal out there. If you've been like me and you've been seeing the garlic prices going through the roof on those little tiny little bottles, um, the best way to deal with that is really just buy bigger. So for $8.90, you can get, uh, what is that? Uh, <laughs> one, one pound, 10 ounces of garlic powder. Uh, that is a great thing, that's name brand stuff. So you can just break that down into smaller uh, containers and save a whole bunch of money that way. Uh, there's a lot of things like that. You can really buy spices in bulk. Uh, especially if you're a prepper like me, um, I have some, I have a lot of Indian spices in bulk, like massive packs of them uh, to flavor up my rice and all that kind of stuff like that. Water filters are on sale right now. We'll go through a couple other options here. Uh, my favorite is the Sawyer Squeeze. If you go out to backpackers uh, on the Appalachian Trail, long distance trails, you're gonna see that they're basically all using Sawyer Squeezes. Uh, and there's a reason for that. It's lightweight and they're super reliable. There are the Sawyer Minis. They cost just a little bit less, but they clog up really fast. So everyone who uses these things says, uh, get the full-size Sawyer squeezes. That's the way to go. Sawyer squeeze or get the gravity uh, fed setup. Um, but that's definitely the way to go. You can also get these at like Walmart. Um, sometimes you can get some good prices on those too. But for Amazon, this is the best price you can see there. Um, you can find all of the prices and all of these links uh, down below in the pinned comment as well as the description. If you can't, uh, if you find, can't find that, it's uh, that just go into the comments and it should be right there on the top. Um, Anchor uh, Nano Power Bank. Uh, this thing is super awesome. Uh, it just plugs into the bottom of your phone and becomes it like makes your phone a little bit bigger. Uh, but basically, one of these things can almost charge your your phone from zero up to 100%. Uh, at least that's what I've seen uh, with my phone. Uh, so the uh, it needs to be the USB-C connector on the bottom. So if you have like a lightning port on the bottom, that's not going to work. Uh, you can get something else that maybe works with that. But this is the USB-C. That's the newest connection that uh, everything's moving over to. Um, so that's great. Uh, it just plugs into the bottom of your phone, recharge your phone. If you use your phone a lot, this is super useful. I use uh, a battery pack like this almost uh, every day when I'm traveling. So uh, I've been trying to use the magnetic ones, but the magnetic ones, they just lose so much power uh, through the conversion process. Um, I needed to move over to direct power uh, because you save so much power that way. All right, um, uh, Jackery. Uh, we're gonna look at a couple solar uh, battery packs out there. Basically, if you if you know of a, a brand that you're looking at, uh, they're probably on sale. There's just some sales that are better than others. Jackery has slashed their prices down dramatically already. I think when you get to Black Friday and, and, and Cyber Monday I, next week, I think you're going to see a lot of these other brands follow suit for a shorter period of time. But Jackery has already slashed the prices down. So uh, um, you're looking at... Uh, 359 for the uh, 1070 watt hour LifePo battery. Uh, remember when you're looking at these batteries, look at the watt hours. That's how much power can be in it. Uh, the, you know, the watts is how fast it can flow out of it. Uh, but uh, watt hours is how much capacity it has. And that's that's the most important number, I think, really. You need to make sure that you can power your stuff, but uh, generally speaking, 
um, you're going to run out of juice faster than you're just not going to have it work on a device or something like that. All right, uh, their bigger Jackery, uh, the 2042 watt hour uh, for $100 coupon there, so it's like $799. Um, it's, it's a big chunk of change, but these prices are lower than you're going to get any other time of year. Opus has their sale going on, um, $70 coupon there, so that's like a $780. Um, right? <laughs> Check my math. Seven, seven seventy nine, right? Uh, for their 2,232 watt hour. So um, Opus is actually not slashing their prices as much as Jackery is right here. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Jackery is the best deal out there right now that I'm seeing. I'll, I'll bring them to you as, as I see them. Uh, but uh, I, I've been a big fan of Opus because they usually are the cheapest, but today they're not. This week they're not. Now, maybe back on Friday they will be, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what the prices happen out there. Uh, the zero water filter. Um, so, friends, uh, I know a bunch of you guys have uh, Berkey's or uh, gravity filters on your, your, in your kitchen. Um, if you're like me, I like cold water, so uh, it's great to have like a water pitcher or a water dispenser in the fridge and one that's actually able to filter and make your water safe, not just from the chemicals in the tap, but also, um, you know, like stream water outside and that kind of thing. Uh, that's, that's important. So having a double use where it's like an everyday thing that you're using and getting good use out of, but at the same time, uh, in an emergency, it can really help you out. Uh, so there, there's that option there, and then you can just get more replacement filters to kind of stockpile them. Uh, just straight emergency. These aren't really good for daily use. Uh, Life Straw uh, is a good option there. These usually run about 15 bucks a pop. So the fact that you can get five of them for under 50 bucks is, let's just say we haven't seen that price in a while. So uh, if you're looking to get uh, some Life Straws, this is a good Christmas present uh, to give people who are outdoorsy, uh, but you want to help them get more prepared or prepped uh, life straws, you can get this package and then you can split up the, the package of life straws and you can give them to different people. Uh, that's one option there. Uh, we'll have some more Christmas presents coming up here that, uh, they're really cool. Like this one, uh, magnifying glass fire starter. That's super cheap. And, and it's a, it's a pack of six of them. Um, and, uh, I'll show that to you, uh, at the end there. I think it comes towards the end of the stack, but that's a great Christmas option there too. Stocking stuffer doesn't cost you much money, but giving somebody the option of the ability to start a fire wherever they are in something that's, it's tiny. It's like a credit card. It can go in a wallet. Um, mountain house has a bunch of deals going on right now. August and farms. I'll show you a couple of things that they've got going on, but they don't really have any specials going on right now. They always kind of have a few things kind of discounted. Um, but, uh, those are just kind of the normal discounts. They're not any black Friday sales just yet. Mountain house has black Friday sales. Um, they have a whole bunch of stuff marked down pretty, pretty good, as good as it gets for mountain house. So if you want freeze dried stuff without getting a freeze dryer, this is something to look at dice chicken, uh, the number 10 can, that's a lot of diced chicken. Uh, they'll get, take you uh, quite a ways. Um, as you can see, I purchased these things about a year ago. Um, I've actually used these kind of around the house a little bit, messed around with them. Um, I'm a big fan of them. They're not really marked down that much, but um, we were just having a conversation here down in Florida with my parents and uh, about flashlights and how flashlights just really aren't all that useful. Um, spot purposes they are. But when it comes to like a power outage, what you really need is lanterns. Lanterns will light up a room. Everyone can sit around a lantern and do whatever you're doing. You can eat meals. When you go into the bathroom, you don't want to have a flashlight. You want to have a lantern in the bathroom, right? Am I right? Um, so having a, a four pack of lanterns is great for the family. Everyone can get a lantern, take it around with them. LED, so it lasts a long time, runs off double A's. You can get rechargeable double A's too, but uh, and this is a great option there. Um, again, multi-pack, you, uh, you can give people their individual lanterns. You know, that's a great thing too. I, I think they're in like a multi-pack though, so uh, you'd have to actually open up the package to uh, hand them out. But uh, um, that's, I, I like those. Uh, mechanics wear uh, gloves. If you know, you know. Uh, basically, uh, let's just say uh, this is the type of glove that special operations guys use. 
they like mechanics gloves and for good reason when you're touching hot metal um, that's getting red hot and you're you're touching sharp things all over the place let's just say special operations are always wearing gloves like these if not maybe these exact gloves um, let's just say you need to have these things if you if you're going to have a kit and you're going to be uh, um, doing stuff uh, you need a good pair of gloves these are also double duty as work gloves um, so yeah um, you, you can have junk work gloves, but then you can have some really good work gloves. And these are really good work gloves. And uh, they're, they're cut resistant and all that kind of stuff. I can't say enough about mechanics. If you've used mechanics, great. Um, but having them a little more low key where they don't have like mechanics stamped on them in black and white is kind of nice. Instant pots. Marked down dramatically 30%. If you've been on Black Friday and you have Instant Pots or you've bought Instant Pots before, you know this is the time to buy them. Instant Pots always go on sale. Um, remember, you can't can with an Instant Pot, okay? Uh, because it doesn't get to enough pressure uh, to pressure can inside of an Instant Pot. So um, don't think you're going to do that, okay? But if you're stockpiling rice and beans, friends, um, you're going to need an instant pot or a pressure cooker to cook those rice and beans. Now, when the grid is up or when you have electricity, an instant pot is the way to go. It's, a, it's so easy to do. You just throw all the stuff in the, in the pot and just turn it on hour later or even 30 minutes later, you have a fully cooked rice and beans and you're good to go, right? Um, for when the grid is down, um, you need a stovetop pressure cooker. Uh, Rice and beans can be cooked without a pressure cooker, but that's just really long and tedious and soaking beans overnight. If you're dealing with pinto beans, uh, with, with hard beans, you really want a pressure cooker. I, I'm telling you, I promise you, you want a pressure cooker. Um, having having an Instant Pot for grid up is great. For grid down, having a stove top uh, is good. Or if you're going to do pressure canning, uh, you might as well get the big pressure canner and you can can stuff at the same time that you're cooking stuff. I mean, that's, you can cook your rice and beans off grid while you're canning a couple cans if you get a big uh, pressure cooker. This is just um, for cooking, basically. Uh, you can't really get any cans in there. All right, uh, you need to secure your doors. If you're anything like me, uh, my house is not the most secure. It's got a lot of windows. The doors are not the best. Um, upgrading your doors is a big first step, but, uh, even just getting a security bar that you can put under the door to make it so that people can't just kick your door in, right? 14 bucks. And the best part about this is it doesn't take any installation whatsoever. You just shove it up under your door. It's basically like the proverbial chair under the door handle. It's like that, but like designed to do that. Okay. So it's adjustable so it can make it work. All right, uh, so a bunch of those things were Amazon. Jace Medical uh, has some great sales going on right now. Uh, basically, it's $25 off an order if you use the code Black Friday. If you, use the, if you go down to the link down in the uh, pinned comment down below, it'll just take you right over there. Make sure to check out. You use the, uh, the code Black Friday, all caps, right? Uh, instructions are down below. Just check it out, and it'll take you right over there. Um, but uh, Jace Medical has prescription drugs. Um, these are prescribed to you by a doctor, so you, you get a virtual consultation uh, with a doctor, or you fill out a form, and if there's no issues, then I think they don't necessarily need to have the consultation with you. Um, but uh, uh, So it's actually issued by a doctor, and then before you take your emergency uh, medication, you can consult with that doctor. Okay, so it's, it's a legitimate up-and-up -up thing inside the United States. I believe Canada, you can also do it as well. Um, you, you can't use your insurance for it. You do have to pay out of pocket. Uh, that's why the 25 bucks off is actually real helpful. But you can get things like vitamin I, that I'm not, am I allowed to say that horse stuff here? Um, and you can get uh, other things that are less easy to get from pharmacies uh, and things that you're prescribed, as well as antibiotics. You can get emergency antibiotics prescribed to you so that you can take them if you need them. So you don't need them right now, but if you need them, you can have those antibiotics. And they're prescribed to you, so they, get, they got your name stamped on the bottle 
all that kind of stuff. I got the dosages right for your age and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can get a Jace case for each of your family members. It's a great idea. Uh, once again, you can just find that uh, down in the links down below. Uh, Amazon Basics 24-pack uh, rechargeable. Basically, everything that's branded Amazon goes on sale. Uh, and their rechargeable batteries are already the cheapest out there that are actually quite good. So uh, nickel metal hydride uh, batteries are good stuff. Um, so if you use double A's, you might want to switch over to, to rechargeables. Uh, it'll save you money over the long haul. And uh, this, is the time of, this is the time of year to buy them. Black Friday sales, Amazon Prime Days, that's when their batteries go on sale big time. And I think this is the, the lowest I've seen them this year. So that's a great option there. Uh, yeah, get your flashlights and everything like that. I've, I've taken steps to move all of my batteries that I possibly can over to AA because it just seems like that's the most popular. I try to get away from any flashlights, anything that use AAA because that's just confusing this year. I want to have one standard battery size, right? And I get some things just have to be what they are, but um, yeah, getting rechargeable batteries and use AA's wherever you can is super useful. Um, Mountain House, uh, three day emergency food su supply. Um, this is a great way to buy the individual uh, foil packs of meals. Uh, it limits the, the variety that you get, but when you look at the price here, um, three days, that's uh, nine meals. Uh, you can see that's well below the normal $10 a meal, $12 a meal uh, price that you normally get. So that's a big deal. Um, it's about half the price uh, of what Mountain House usually goes for. So if you're looking to stock up, you can do this. Um, there are the larger cases too. But honestly, this is as cheap per meal as the 30-day meals or the two-week meals. So you might as well just get a bunch of these, as many as you want, and, and not be forced into a certain time period. Um, you probably don't want to have most of your stockpile in Mountain House, but having a few of those meals will really be a pick-me-up because Mountain House is just delicious. When I've been backpacking, I've come across a Mountain House. It just really lifts your spirits. So uh, uh, when I was backpacking on the Appalachian Trail, I... I use Lipton sides, instant mashed potatoes, all that kind of stuff I got. But once every, once or twice a week, I had like a packet of Mountain House scrambled eggs that I cooked up on the trail. And oh man, that made all the difference. It picked me up so much. I felt so <laughs> uh, alive. So it was like my big splurge. So having a couple splurge meals um, that are going to be super easy to make and that you can make on the road for your go bags and stuff like that, Mountain House has a place. Uh, if you're just starting the prepping journey, probably stay away from them and get your basics covered. One of the things you're going to need to do is have lots of self shelf space, right? And if you know anything, if you've been around, you know that the shelving is just really expensive. So uh, five shelf, six foot uh, tall shelves. These are these are fairly big shelves. Um, you'll probably need a bunch of them, um, but uh, they can't handle too, too much weight. But if you just need a lot more space, shelving uh, might solve that problem for you. This is about, um, I've seen it fluctuate between $41 and $47 uh, day to day. So it should be somewhere between $41 and $47 for these, for these uh, racks. Uh, but uh, they're great. I bought a bunch of these back in the day when I was uh, getting into microgreens. Uh, just about the time I started getting on YouTube. <laughs> uh, so I got all the microgreen stuff uh, set up. Uh, I had my grow racks and everything like that uh, set up on these things with fluorescent lights set up on these uh, shelves, uh, zip tied on. It was, it's a whole big setup. Anyway, uh, that's why I have a bunch of the racks that I have, and those were great for that. Solar outdoor lights, security lights. These are motion-activated, solar-charged LED uh, outdoor lights. So they're weatherproof, you, you bolt them on, you screw them onto the side of your house, um, and if someone walks up, the light turns on. And it's recharged by the sun, so even when the grid is down, these lights will still work, and they'll, it's, a, it's a very rudimentary perimeter alarm kind of thing. Uh, it's, people may not expect it if the grid, grid is down, uh, if the lights are out, and yet somehow these security lights are still working. That may freak people out and make you have less of a problem. Uh, so for uh, 
thirty bucks for two. That's uh, that's a pretty good uh, pretty good deal. I have a I have a bunch of them. I have some smaller ones, and then I have a couple of bigger ones um, that that work just great. All right, we got the Amazon Basics uh, razors. Um, if you've seen all those shaving clubs and you do all sorts of, I've kind of mostly moved over to electric razor. So, uh, but when I travel and stuff, I need razors. Um, 15 bucks. It's actually cheaper than this. It's actually like 10 bucks, $10 and 70 cents for 16, uh, blades. And you get the handle thing too. That's, that's pretty good. Um, so, and, and they're, they're comfortable and you can see they got the five blade thing and everything like that. So if you're a dude or, uh, I don't think dudettes like using men, men's razors, right? Because dudette ra razors are, uh, better. Uh, they don't catch you as much, but, uh, um, that's just an option out there too. Simket Faraday bags. Um, I purchased these, uh, a bit ago. Um, I think I was meaning to do a review on them, but I, I just haven't got around to doing a review on them. Uh, but if you want to make your cell phone disappear, you drop it in the bag, you close it on down and it blocks all the signals coming in and out of the thing. It blocks its communication to the, uh, cell phone towers. Even if you turn your cell phone off, it's still talking to the towers. It's never really off, okay? They've designed them now so that they can always track your phone. It's, quote, for emergency purposes. But if you don't want your cell phone squawking your location to all the cell phone towers and to, you know, the authorities, you need to drop it into a Faraday bag. That's what this is for. It can keep your, if you want to just make sure you're not getting any text alerts and you don't want to just keep switching it on, off and on and, and, you know, forgetting it, you can physically just shove it in the bag, close it on down. It won't ring. It won't get notifications. It won't get any of that. Okay. It's useful every day. And then for emergency purposes, it's very useful there too. So you can't get uh, tracked and stuff like that. Right. Um, if the grid goes down, someone may get their hands on a repeater or on a cell phone tower equipment, and they could theoretically use it to light up everyone's cell phones and locate everybody, basically ping everyone's cell phones that's, that's on, see who actually has their phone charged up and it'll suddenly ping back and they could locate everyone's cell phones that way. So even like a local warlord could use that cell phone against you if it's not isolated, right? And if a warlord could do that, you know the federal government is absolutely doing that, right? Um, Settlers of Catan board game, great game. Uh, my family plays this. Uh, so if you're looking for some stuff to do when there's no power, uh, family stuff like board games are a great thing to have stocked up. 26 bucks is as cheap as this ever gets, usually 50 plus bucks. Um, so 26 bucks for a board game that uh, you guys can play um, lots and lots of times. It's one of those games, it's like, it's like chess, but a lot more fun. Um, and uh, you can play it over and over and over again. Just uh, It doesn't really get boring. Um, some people play it super competitively, like constantly. So it's one of those type of games. It's just, uh, you can just keep playing it. Uh, August and Farms does have a few sales going on out there. They say it's a Black Friday deal. Let's say I, I've seen the cheesy broccoli soup mix go cheaper. So I've seen it go down to like $21 over the past year. This is as low as it's been recently. So I don't know if this is a new normal or if they're going to hit us with a bl some Black Friday sales on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or both, but it may be shorter duration sales. August and Farms usually has some pretty good stuff coming out. Um, their dehydrated sliced potatoes um, is good too. The, bro the cheesy broccoli soup mix, I think, is a great stock up because it's veggie and it's 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 ready to go soup uh you just boil it and boom you got some s soup it's good stuff uh potato slices potatoes are always great always go over well um rehydrate them and uh you got your potatoes right and it's relatively cheap uh, for some calories that's a great way to go um these are not black friday sale but these are as cheap as i've ever seen them so um, these are slightly, these are past inspection date. These are like MREs. 
but what you get in one of these cases is 10 packages and in each package is two meals. That package is meant to keep you alive for one day. It's got over 2000 calories in each package. So 10 packages of 2000 calories, usually like 2200 plus calories per package. Now they're vegetarian and there's no heaters in them, okay? But you're looking at $4 a day for meals that are all ready to go. You can just open them up. You don't have to heat them up. You can just spoon them out of the packages. Uh, you got cookies in there, toaster, pastries, other stuff in there. It's like an MRE, like a super cheap MRE. Um, it's all the stuff that they don't want in the better MREs, right? Um, so don't expect like super fancy, but it, it's tasty. And if you heat it up, it, it actually tastes quite good. Um, but uh, $4 a day. That's hard to beat. Um, that's rice and beans will get you like you're looking at like a buck to two bucks a day. You can get a little cheaper than that, but uh, you're, you're looking at a buck to two bucks a day when you start counting in the, the bucket or the container that you're putting the rice and beans in and the mylar bag and all that kind of stuff like that. And pre cooked, ready to go meals that you can just grab and throw into a bag and you don't need to cook it and everything like that, That's uh, that's got some perks. I really like the HDRs. Um, so I've been a big advocate of them. I'm surprised that the prepping community doesn't talk about them more. That's that's my two cents. All right. And if they haven't been down to $40 um, for a case uh, for a while. So they usually hover around like 50 bucks for a case. So $40 a case is actually really good. That's 20% cheaper than it normally is. So that's my two cents on that. Um, emergency hand crank radio. Definitely have a radio that can pick up weather, that can uh, pick up uh, regular radio channels. And if necessary, you can hand crank it. And it's got a little solar thing in there too, I think. Um, but basically you can hand crank this to charge your cell phone in a worst case scenario. Is that an optimal scenario? It absolutely is not an optimal scenario, but can you do it? Yes, yes you can. So 15 bucks to have a radio plus flashlight plus all that other stuff, it's a pretty good deal. Um, all right, uh, this is an interesting one. For 50 bucks, uh, cold plunge tub. Uh, think about this. Where are you going to shower or bathe if the grid is down? If you have a pool, that, that's an easy one, right? But then again, like how many people do you want to go in that pool before, uh, <laughs> before you change the water, right? Uh, but a tub like this, you can fill it up with rainwater and you can, uh, you can set up a little privacy screen around it or set up in your uh, garage or something like that. People can bathe and then you can change the water and you can uh, refill it up uh, for the next person or whatever. It's like a bathtub, but for 50 bucks uh, delivered to your house. Um, I think that's uh, a good deal. Or if you don't use it for bathing, you can use it for water storage, right? It's a, you know, 100 and, uh, 116 gallon plunge, uh, 116 gallons water storage. So it's like uh, 250 gallon barrels, right? Plus some. Water drop, gravity, water filter. Uh, so it's a straw, but it's a water filter. Uh, that's uh, And gravity is super useful because you just hook it up, set it up, hang it. And that bag is made for like if you have like a, a nail driven into a, a post or, or some place you can hang it up. You can hang it up and you can let it filter the water just like, a, you know, your Berkey or whatever gravity filter on your countertop. But this is the mobile version of that. This is super useful. Um, backpackers like the gravity filters as well. Some, a lot of them still just do the squeeze because, you know, they just do it. Um, but the uh, gravity option is even better. And that's the cheaper option. Um, laser rangefinder. So if you got kit and you got a boomstick, um, you definitely want to take a survey around your property and around the areas around your property and, uh, know the exact range to everything, right? Super useful uh, when you're on the road and you're 
navigating. You can check ranges on things. You can, uh, uh, but tactically speaking, you really need to have a range finder. If you have a boomstick and kit, uh, you need to either have some way of knowing how far away stuff is. Uh, that's that's a big uh, advantage right there. And for 55 bucks, um, that's that's very doable. All right. Um, I am not really into ferro rods and starting fire with fire sticks like uh, cavemen. Um, I'm about just getting lots and lots of disposable lighters. You can buy these, look at that, 50 lighters. Are they all going to work? No. Some of them are going to break. I get it. They're cheap junk. But there's 50 of them, and they're all loaded up with... Um, <laughs> Uh, they have fuel in all of them, 50 of them, okay? Some of them are going to work. Most of them probably are going to work for at least a while. Some of them are going to work for a fairly good bit. These are great trading items. Getting bricks of these are going to be super useful. You can get another can of Keystone beef for 10 bucks, or you can get another 50 lighters. You can just see how these might be a little bit useful in a, a grid down situation or just generally whenever you need to start fire or wherever else. Um, I do like to have a few Bic lighters. Like when I go backpacking and stuff like that, I take Bic lighters because they're so much more reliable. But when I'm prepping at home, I have bricks of these, right? Um, all right, socks, underwear, just all the clothing options out there. There's sales on all that stuff right now. Um, know your prices, but then go on Amazon. You might find ridiculously good prices and get some good orders in. You know, check the reviews. Gildan, I'm familiar with that brand. I like their socks. Are they the highest quality? No. Do they work? Yes. 12 pairs for 12 bucks. That's, that's hard to beat these days, right? Um, and I said I'd give you the stocking stuffer um, idea out here. Fresnel lenses. They're, they're plastic cards. They're about the size of a credit card. Um, and they even come with a little cover that you stick in uh, the, the Fresnel lens into. And uh, it, uh, it, they're great for like magnifying glass when you're trying to read tiny print and stuff. But also, these things will start a fire. If the sun's out at all, you can start a fire with these things, no problem. Ferro rods are, you know, people are like, well, what happens when you run out of lighters? My answer is I have a whole bunch of Fresnel lenses and I'll just use those. I will start fire with the sun. That's what I will do because I'm not a caveman. Okay, uh, we, have, uh, we have ways of starting fire with the sun. I think that is an optimal solution. And when, the, when it's wet and it's, it's bad out, fine, then I just won't have a fire. Uh, it's uh, keep the fire going, right? All right, friends, that's uh, that's the deals I found out there. I will have more for you. When we hit uh, Black Friday, um, I imagine I will have a bunch of new hot ones for you. That becomes, uh, uh, it's a good one. To, it's a good day to pay attention um, if you have things that you want to get because all the flash sales, all the lightning sales that happen all throughout the day, I'll be hitting you with deals as they come. Um, I'm actually going to be traveling that day, uh, but I'll be doing my best to kind of keep you updated on what's going on and what the sales are out there. And then Cyber Monday usually has good sales there too. Um, we will keep you up to date on this channel, um, but, you know, hopping on YouTube, uh, looking at your other deal sites or whatever you got uh, to find the best deals uh, for stuff you're already going to buy or stuff that you could use if it was cheaper because on these days it, of course, is cheaper. All right, friends, hopefully this saves you some money and uh, get, you some, get you a little more prepared. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you got some ideas uh, for gifts or whatever um, pop out to you. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, there's, a there's a link to a video right there on the screen. I'll see you over there, or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar. I'm also going to put a link right on the screen, too, that will take you over, to, uh, over to, uh, to the Black Friday sale. So there's a link right there in the middle. That'll take you right to the Black Friday sale over on Amazon. You can look at deals over there yourself. All right, friends. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report out.